Welcome back. If your boss sends you an email, would you ignore it? More than likely not. And scammers mm -hmm. know that. You shouldn't at least <laughs> run the boss emails you. The Better Business Bureau says these criminals are using that to their advantage to scam workers. Now the BBB knows because it almost happened to them. News 4 problem solver Carice Jackman talks to BBB officials tonight about this and how it's happening. Carice, all across the country, what do we need to know? Well, Lauren Tracy, first of all, the fact that it happened to the Better Business Bureau, a place that is supposed to help protect consumers, is really crazy to just think about it. What are the odds? Now, they tell us that the man who it happened to, he's been working there for a while. He says he saw it, caught the red flags, and made sure he took notice. Oh, it's crazy. Uh, you know, and, and, and again, of all places, the Better Business Bureau. B.J. Howard, board treasurer for the Better Business Bureau of Middle Tennessee, was checking his email Tuesday morning when one caught his eye. And I thought it was kind of odd. It was just kind of a very general, uh, generic type of an email. The email came from who he thought was his board chairperson, asking him to wire over $7,000 to pay for one of their vendors. Thinking it was strange, he responded if their accountant and CEO were aware. The email came back and said, uh, apparently they are. Um, so we just need to get this done as quickly as possible. And I'm about to go into another meeting. Uh, won't be able to answer any calls. Then he noticed a major red flag. When I looked at the email account, it said President Executive 12. And that's not Carol's email address. And I thought, well, this is odd. But it's coming from her mobile phone, so maybe she has a separate account. But then I looked at it again, and President has two eyes in it. So they didn't spell President correctly. Uh, in the email account. And they had done their homework. Robin Householder, president of the BBB of Middle Tennessee, says this type of business email scam is happening everywhere, becoming one of the most popular scams in the country. Don't respond to an email that you don't know who it's from. Uh, check with your boss and see, is this really somebody of authority in your company? Just goes to show you can never be too careful no matter who you are. So if you want to see the list of tips, we'll have that for you on our website, WSMV.com. Reporting live in the Call for Action Center, I'm Carice Jackman, News 4. Carice, thank you.